Greetings Earthlings. Now this is another eBay purchase. This is an HP 1332A XY display. Uh, this particular one has options 639 and 330. 639 being a particular uh, phosphor, P39 phosphor, whatever that is. And option 330 is uh, UL certified for dental and medical use, plus um, clear contrast filter here on the front. Um, can't really turn it around. It's it's big. It's very deep. <laughs> There's not much to see. I mean, it should have it should have tilt up feet. It does. It has one. One's gone. Okay. Um, so, and I see why. Ah, um, so I've just got it on that little pad. Uh, controls here. Astigmatism. TR alignment. Trace alignment, I guess. Trace align. X gain, Y gain. That is a uh, power light. It's got a little door over here. Ooh. Some knobs, intensity, focus, uh, X position, Y position. So let's turn it on and see what uh, happens. Um, there's a toggle switch here on the back. And, uh, well, the light came on. it. Oh, there's a dot. Okay, it's alive. That's good. It was sold as parts, you know. So, but removed from working environment, I think. You know, one of those, one of those kind of listings. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, let's see if it works. I've got to give it an input signal. Uh, this should, this should, this should provide. An appropriate input signal. Got a HP function generator here. Um, let me power this off. Let me power this off and hook this up. Uh, I'll hook it up to the X. X input. Let's see what we get. Okay, there's my dot. Oops, the dot is gone. There's my dot. Okay. Turning this on. Let's see. I've got it on uh, like uh, one second here. Sine wave. And the output's all the way down at the moment. But it's doing something. Yeah. Well, let's go here. Let's go intensity. Yes. That works. That's a long persistence phosphor there isn't it focus yeah now I ruined it um, let me get back to the dot and I can focus <laughs> yeah okay well you know those controls seem a little noisy I could probably use a spritz of something okay position position everything so far well again flaky noisy but so far everything seems to be working uh, let's turn this back on okay to work. We can try different uh... <laughs> Okay, this is on a square wave so it's either it's either high or low. Um, so we're just getting dots out there because the transition is so fast that it's not showing it. Uh, 
I can do pulse. And it's not really any different. Triangle. Okay, slow it back down. Can you tell the difference between a sine and a triangle? Mm. Triangle has higher peak. Okay, ramp. This should be fun. Uh, uh, zap. 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 Okay. <laughs> well, that was the X. Let's uh, check the Y. Oh, I think I'll live dangerously here. It also has a Z input, of course, uh, which controls the intensity. Uh, and the Y also seems to work. So it seems to be fully functional. I mean, I could, I could potentially turn this into a, a bad oscilloscope with the, uh, the ramp or sawtooth wave on the horizontal, and then I could put a, uh, or, or X, and then I could put like a sine wave on the Y. Let me, <laughs> let me do that just, just because I, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so here we go. Um, I apologize for using modern equipment <laughs> to drive my to drive my uh, vintage uh, display here, but uh, this has two outputs. So I'm on channel one, which is connected to the X, and that's a sawtooth at 2.88 hertz. Why 2.88 hertz? I don't know, just because that's what I did. So I turn that on, and we'll see. Okay, that's kind of looking oscilloscope-like, right? Uh, and then on channel two. I have a uh, 5 hertz sine wave, okay, uh, 300 millivolts peak to peak, and if I turn that on, then I start seeing <laughs> sine waves, and of course it's not, it's not triggered, <laughs> so, so each, uh, each pass uh, moves because that's not an exact multiple of the other frequency, <laughs> but there you go, a, uh, a very poor oscilloscope. Actually, what am I thinking? We've got to open it up and look inside, don't we? Looks like there's just this one screw. So here's the back panel, which we didn't see before. X input, Y input, Z input. Power in, there's your toggle switch. Uh, line voltage select and uh, list of options. And you see, it's UL listed medical equipment. But it looks like there's just this one screw. And it looks like it's been open many times. I think this will just slide off and open up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Warning high voltage. Yeah. I know. Uh, there's the CRT. There's a transformer, which you can't see. Let me turn this around. There's a PC board over here, over here on the side. I don't want to zap myself, though. So you got to be careful here. Okay. Uh, fortunately, we don't have to uh, mess with any of this, but uh, there are the those front panel controls on the shafts. Come back to here. You've got some transistors. Are there date codes? This, this is all uh, analog and discrete components. Looks like 1973 date codes on it. That board actually plugs in. It's got edge connectors down there. I uh, can see some adjustments here, which I won't mess with. I want to get over there to, uh, yeah, this is what I don't want to mess with here. That's, you know, thousands of volts. Um, but uh, get at those controls uh, and see if I can spray them. This stuff ought to clean them and lubricate. It improves electrical properties. Do not ever, do not ever use this stuff on potentiometers because it will destroy them. Those may be sealed and inaccessible. Those controls. Looks like maybe this front part needs to come off or something to get at them, but they look like, uh, they look like little boxes. So I think they're sealed, and so I probably, probably can't mess with them at all. Uh, okay, 
So what I had in mind for, well, one possible use for this, I thought could be as a display for my uh, BNK um, 501A curved tracer. But I think I have a better solution for that. I have something else in mind for this. And that is as a uh, vector graphics display for this stupid computer. I'll make some, I'll make some mods to the uh, stupid computer to output, uh, to allow it to output an analog signal and uh, then I can use this especially because of the long persistence phosphor